year. We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. Friends, it's Serena and welcome back to our channel where we make videos about education and lifestyle. Um, it's a snow day. <laughs> well, yesterday was a snow day. It snowed yesterday. The kids are actually not here. They're at Nana and Pop-Pop's house. Focus. There it is. Let's try this again. Friends, the kids are not here. Brian and I will be heading to go and get them today, which we miss them, but it was nice to have time um, to be able to just kind of clean up a few things, spend some time together, just thinking maybe we could kind of chat through a little bit what I do to get ready for the week. Things are different now, but they're kind of the same. <laughs> Since moving into our gap year, our unschool lives, um, I try to take a lot of the pressure off of preparing for the week because that's just very anxiety ridden and full of just uh overwhelm and we don't want that um i want to be rested and enjoy our days from a place of peace and joy and all of those good things that are forever a goal for us around here um so i feel like we're always in a state of prepping and planning and um i really just wanted the kids to have uh share in that responsibility of preparing for the week um, one of the things I like really focus on in our unschool, homeschool lives is making sure we set systems and just leaning into those systems. So because of all the systems we have um, and that we've been implementing over the years now, our chore chart, our rewards chart, um, just all of those things like our book challenge, um, the way we handle spelling words, uh, it makes the prep time for getting ready for the week very minimal and the things that really require a little extra something we kind of have passed off to brian because he's a lot better at just getting that thing done and not overthinking it all so he generally handles any like vocabulary words um printing out any new like calendar pages um looking through their journals and things like that uh so maybe i'll share more about that in the future about the things we do on different days or that we try to do on different days to um, prepare for the weeks ahead. But my house is kind of messy. We took a little bit of time to just kind of straighten up what we could. We're currently working on um, organizing our a library, which is a whole thing because we're making more book videos lately and I'm, we're all very excited about that. So we wanted to have like a rhyme or reason to it um, and catalog our books in our Notion, which is, I told you in a video earlier, that's what we were doing. So we spend a lot of time working on that, which means that books are normally all over the place. Things are all over the place in general. Um, so I don't do too much. We just try to make sure things are tidied up. I try to make sure that their journals are put back into their desk, um, that their notebooks are cleared out, just to kind of give them a little bit of a fresh start. But for the most part, they are kind of responsible for, you know, taking care of their things, which is nice because we kind of all share in that responsibility around the house. Anyway, I'm going to check in with my calendar for my monthly goals. This is really something I want to um, remain consistent on like Saturday, Sunday, just so that I can put it before me. Like, let's keep it simple, Serena. These are your goals for the month and this is the goal that you're really trying to focus on for this week and I really feel like it's helping me to just kind of gather myself and protect my peace and those types of things so I normally take out my iPad and give that a look and then just kind of look through like I said when I'm straightening up their things I kind of read through a little bit of their journals which is allowed <laughs> So um, it's not like I'm overstepping a boundary or anything. Um, I read through some of the things they've written, um, some of the things they've bookmarked, 
just kind of like trying to get a feel for like what are the things that I don't know what are some of the thoughts and ideas that have been swirling through their mind from the week before and seeing how I can add to that so anyway I like this I like this tripod situation it makes it a lot easier for me friend this is their art book and this is her journal which just gonna write on top and pencil box book stack devotion headphones washi tape for reading and taking notes and that's what's in there same situation same thing just a little different our current state shelfy state which we love and then this is always the little teacher comfy little couch what show is that the big comfy couch somebody tell me in the comments you know what i'm talking about anyway <laughs> this is my big comfy couch a lot of times i don't know how i can add to the conversation and i just figure the more i share the more you guys can let me know like what you would like to see the way that i um walk myself through thoughts and feelings in homeschool and life. Well, I know this is a mess, but I feel like our book situation is forever a mess. <laughs> but um, before Savannah headed off to Nanny and Pop-Ups, she grabbed a whole stack of books for us to do story time with um, my nephew. And so that's one of the things that we are doing to get ready for the week. And I mean, I think the biggest thing that I'm doing this week is Savannah finished her first manuscript which we're all really <laughs> excited about it is so cute you guys so um i'm going to be putting on my editor hat to go through um and set up some meetings with her so we can just brainstorm and talk about different things that we can change what steps we need to take next i promise y'all that girl is so precious so um brian's mother actually published her own book and so she knows a bit more about the publishing process so she's been calling her to ask her questions we have looked up information on purchasing ISBN numbers I mean she's very serious we're all very serious about publishing some piece of work it's part of our end project for our writing years um, and it really is exciting. It's so funny because when I first started to flip through her manuscript, I'm like, whoa, this is going to be a doozy. <laughs> Honestly, that's what I want. And it was so cute because the other day she came to me because she's currently working on her next, um, book and she's very excited about it. It's a book written in verse and she can wrap her mind around the plot or the premise, um, a lot more the second time around than she did the first and she acknowledged that which was so cute um but still i feel like this is going to be a great opportunity to for us to walk through all of the bits and pieces of writing the writing process even though we've done it a bit backwards i really don't feel like it's backwards because we always keep purpose and the joy and love of learning and reading and writing and all of those things first so um yeah it's all over the place, but it's in a very good way. So I'm going to break out my highlighters and my different colored pens, and we're just going to set meetings and work through it together. But it's just really exciting to know that I'll be able to document this process of their very first pieces of work, whether it's articles, um, novels. We talked about the difference between a novel and a novella, and just all of those things, just kind of like letting their curiosity take the lead so also i forgot to show you guys the new chairs which we really love these are the old chairs over here um that are cracked and broken and about to go out and these are the newer chairs which are very similar but they have a nice back support system and the wooden leg so so i have that here and i'm probably going to get all of my things out so that i can wrap my mind around how we want to um, work on this process together and just get meetings with the editor on her schedule or on my schedule 
And I know, see, these are some kind of random, unorthodox ways that we get ourselves ready for the week. Another thing that I'm very excited about, something I'm going to be diving into during their study time, because while they study, I stay around for support and, you know, to get them whatever they need. But I get a lot of reading done during this time. And I just ordered Power of Introverts in a World That Can't Stop Talking. So quiet is the name of the book. I guess I didn't say the name. <laughs> the book and then I also got the journal to go along with it because for me this is less about you know finding information and more about just kind of discovering more about myself um, I have said this before that I am an extreme introvert and I just feel like I've gotten to this stage in my life where it would make a whole lot of sense to just kind of learn more about myself. So um, she has this companion journal to go along with it, discover your secret strengths and unleash your inner power. So I'm looking forward to that. And then I can also journal along with that. And y'all, I love this journal. <laughs> it has beautiful tattered, torn, tattered and torn pages and a key and a wrap. And it's just, it's just, so pretty. Anyway, um, this is for when I get in my journal time. Um, like I was talking about in my monthly goals video, um, I just wanted to take those things that I wanted to include in my routines, like my morning routine and my night routine, and just kind of make them extra special, something I really like want to get to by <laughs> surrounding myself with like uh, pretty things and nice drinks and things like that that I can look forward to. Another thing that I do to prepare for the week is just get our stacks together and Brian's actually helping me with that. Um, it's a little bit more going on than usual because like I said, we are prepping to, you know, kind of go through um, our entire library um, to make videos and reviews with the kids. But what I do try to get accomplished is get together our stacks. So this was um, my stack for last month, but pretty much I just get out a stack um, that we're going to be working through our each individual stacks and collect the stacks that we're going to be working through for the week. Um, that way I can log them in our system. And as we move along, I can make updates. So yeah, friends, the last thing I kind of do is go through their drawers. I don't know if I said this earlier. I think I did, but bear with me. <laughs> so I go through their drawers and check out their binders and see whatever needs to be taken out and whatever needs to be replaced. This is very much so a collaborative situation because it depends on what they're working on and what printables they're using. Um, I'm very happy with the way that we have been working through printables lately. It's something that I kind of always imagined earlier on when I started making like little printables for us to put like um, their research and their thoughts and their notes and all of that stuff. Um, but really, we would use it kind of here and there. Um, but, but it's the structure and the order that I like us to follow. Um, but now as we've updated it, as they're getting older and they're really understanding um, the why behind our printable system, it's nice to see them interchange things and, and grab what they want and pull together different printables to help them move along in their studies. So if it's um, an experiment they want to do, they grab the experiment report. If it's research notes they're working on, they grab that one. Um, if it is a vocabulary list, they grab that one. Just whatever they are working on, they are learning to just kind of piece together their own individual studies using our printable system. So that's been really, really nice. Um, and it's, it's one of those things that you have an idea for and you're just hoping that it works out well and you tweak and adjust along the way and you stick with it and it pays off. So anyway, um, I talked about one of my goals um, in the monthly goals video being uh, for, to, for them to be able to work through their independent checklist, but with our gap year and our own school life in mind. And that's been really a struggle for me to work my way through, which is a whole nother conversation, but it's working out very well. I'm still, we're still able to use the structure, but add in, 
you know, so much. It just helps support the flexibility that they have in working through their studies and their exploration and discoveries because you know, y'all know how we feel about that. Anyway, so she has, um, they typically have their checklist for the week in the front. Um, I am a big fan of doing it digitally, but lately uh, they have wanted to do them physically and well actually Cameron pretty much does his digitally and the other two do theirs physically because they prefer it and that is fine so we keep their checklist in the front and then inside they just have their notebook and the rest of their binder just kind of collects all the rest of the things um, that they have been working through so um, their calendar is in here and their vocabulary words, their their vocabulary words, their sentence and dictation work that they work through, um, any skill reports if they are, Savannah is working on piano. She takes piano lessons with her aunt and Kendall is working on guitar with his uncle. So as they work on those skills, they log them in here. Um, yeah, and any notes and things like that. Uh, I just go through and take the things that are finished and I can kind of archive them in my big binder um, and then give them fresh new pages for whatever it is that they're working on. So I go through their binders, clean them out, replenish whatever they have asked to be, to be replenished, and then get them back into their drawers and into their book bags and all of that stuff. It's very exciting, friends. It's all the like the back end structure and logistics of this live and learn homeschool life anyway <laughs> all right so that's that friends i just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know a few of the things that i get done on the weekend of course cleaning and prepping and getting ready for like a new week of lunches and a new week of dinners we just try to do as much as we need to do to make things run a bit more smoothly but not too much to where it's not sustainable if that makes any sense so um, we can talk more about meal prep and lunch prep and all of those things later on but i feel like that's the balance that we're finding is it's great when you have everything completely mapped out um in homeschool life but it's just a different vibe um you know not doing too much to make sure that you can sustain these things on a weekly basis i am ready to head to starbucks i want to try the pistachio iced pistachio latte i've never had coffee from starbucks before i've only ever had their um lemonade what is it is it pomegranate i don't know what it is <laughs> and i really like it but that price though but anyway i do however really really like pistachio desserts and i'm not big into drinking all of my calories however I feel like just as a reward to myself, I want to go and try this pistachio um, latte. I really like, one of my favorite things is uh, pistachio flavored macaroons. And since I can't have that right now, I feel like maybe this pistachio latte might like hold me over until I can get one. So I really wanna go and try that. They also have um, this emerald green tumbler that Cameron and I were out one day and we walked by and we were both like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> so I have a pink one, I have a black one. I really enjoy using them throughout the day. So I thought I would go ahead and um, see if I can pick one of those up, get my pistachio iced latte, and uh, then head over to pick up the kids, hang out with them and pop up and yeah ease into another week of homeschool and life and i'm very excited about it i hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope this whole tripod thing works out because one of the biggest challenges for me in filming is getting to the place where you don't want it to be you don't want the camera to be a hindrance or a bother during your homeschool day and we really just like to be into our day you know and the way we live and learn and so anything that makes it easier to just kind of sit the camera somewhere and just talk and chat is great um but when it becomes a hindrance when batteries die and you can't find the right angle and all of those things it just becomes challenging so we're just trying to work out some things brian is really helping me out cameron is also 
on that team. Um, just trying to figure out a good system and rhythm to make it possible to gather more clips um, other than the ones that we are getting for, or maybe I should say in addition to the ones that we're getting for our documentary, of course. So anyway, let me not ramble, friends. I just wanted to say hello. I hope you're having a beautiful week, um, whether you are watching this as you're heading into your week or you're ending off your week. Just know that life is so very full of lessons and our goal, as always, is to live and to learn. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.